It's been a few months since I've bought the Fish Pond Thunderhead Submergible Lumbar Pack, and after fishing with it for some time now, putting it through a lot of tests, all the way from out in Montana out west to here in Pennsylvania on our limestone and freestone streams, I think we're finally ready to do a full review, so let's get into it. To start off, I want to uh, go through some of the specs. It's made of a very tough recycled nylon material that Fish Pond makes a lot of their packs out of. Uh, you can tell just by looking at it, and especially once you feel it, this is a very tough, thick material. Uh, I mean, it's waterproof performance is fantastic. The zipper is the T-zip zipper, and it's a really tough zipper. You can tell that that's not gonna, not gonna screw up like a lot of jackets and, and things like that do. Uh, it's very watertight, and it actually comes with a lubricant that uh, just because of how tight it is, it helps to uh, get that zipper on and off. On the outside here, well, let's go in the inside first. It's a very clean design on the inside. Uh, there is one compartment that is uh, kind of a bag type compartment that I like to put my boxes in. That way it keeps it up against my back more so. So to bring that out here and show you, that's this right here. It's kind of just a bag design. Uh, and really keeps everything up close to your back. I also have my leader wallet in here, uh, a buff, and I'll show you the inside of that. But uh, the nice thing about this real clean design is that with the uh, all of your boxes in there and your fishing gear, there's still plenty of room for your camera. I, the reason why I bought this pack was to protect my camera while I'm on the stream. And in addition to your camera, you still have room for snacks, a lunch, etc. So it's a really nice, clean design. The front is kind of a mesh material. And in here, I just have some floatant, some uh, weights and floats, different things like that. That is not waterproof. So if you're going to put anything in there, something that if you accidentally take a dip or you submerge the pack, that's not going to be protected. So make sure that the things that you store in the front uh, that that is uh, not going to adversely affect them. So on the front here, there's a lot of attachment points. Uh, these are, I mean, I don't know what you'd call that, but that's something that uh, I found that forceps fit into really nice. Uh, there's multiple attachment points like this for clip type designs where I have my leader straightener there, uh, some nippers on the front, and these side, same attachment points as the front, is I will put my net onto my retractor here, which uh, while I have the net, you know, if I'm fighting a fish and I need that fish makes another run, I can drop the net and that's not going anywhere. The back and the belt, uh, it's a really thick padded neoprene material. So it provides really good support, very comfortable on your hips. In the back here, you have the ability to put your net and your handle length can vary. Mine's a shorter handle so it doesn't go the whole way through but if you want a longer handle that'll just come out the bottom here and fits real nice on your back there. I'm going to put this pack on and show you real quick how it fits. So you'll buckle in the front and this has some straps on it that can fit probably a very uh, wide range of hip sizes. I'm a pretty thin guy, so I have it pretty tight. In the summer, I'll have it even tighter whenever I'm wearing just a t-shirt. But what I like to do with my net, as I was saying, clip that into the retractor, fits in your back pretty well like that. And then whenever you're out on the stream, you need to grab your net easy to grab a fish, land your fish. If it makes another run, you can just hang your net down. So that's a feature I really like. Uh, if you're accessing your gear, that's you need to access your fly boxes, need to access your camera, you just flip this around like this, get into the zipper, grab whatever you need to. Now whenever I fish with this, I don't like accessing the pack that much just because sometimes it is a hassle to flip that around. So I wear a lanyard. Uh, 
that has small fly box on it. Uh, everything, my essentials, my nippers, forceps, things like that. So that, that helps with uh, minimizing access to this, although it's not really that bad. It also comes with a shoulder strap that if you don't have that lanyard and you want to put on like a, a Velcro box or put in your forceps or, or nippers, you have the ability to do that. I generally don't use this. Uh, I think it almost defeats the purpose of a hip pack, but I'll show you a nice uh, little conversion that you can do that uh, I'll occasionally do whenever I'm just going out real quick, maybe to fish for brook trout, uh, traveling, etc. It's got these Velcro straps on the side here. And what you can do is open both those Velcro straps, make them Velcro each other down, clip in your shoulder strap, then you have a nice little uh, sling pack right here. It fits over your shoulder. And if you're a fan of sling packs, you know, this is another option. Still has that waterproof capability. If I'm doing this, I don't like to have the net in there because then it's, I mean, it's kind of awkward, but uh, still a nice little, nice little conversion feature that comes along with this pack. One thing that, uh, I do find a little bit cumbersome, one of the cons is this zipper. Now, I mean, it's these, these straps on the side, is, it's nice to have that because it gives you somewhere to hold on to as you pull this thing. And uh, I mean, it's not the easiest to open, but I mean, that's one of the sacrifices you get with this being fully waterproof. And uh, that's why I bought the pack. I love the toughness, the waterproof ability, and just overall, it's a, the, the clean design is fantastic. I can put a ton of things in here. It's a 10 liter capacity, just overall a great pack. And, and you know, I have nothing bad really to say about it. But uh, I hope that this review was helpful to you if you're looking to purchase this pack before you put down the, the $225 that it costs. It's a major investment. So hopefully this review helped you out. If you do have any questions, Please leave those in the comments section below. We'll do our best to respond back to you as quickly as we can. So again, hopefully this was helpful to you. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.